What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about this right here. This is actually really cool. This is the Strict Magnus. It's a gaming microphone and it comes with tons of awesome features. I'm just going to rattle off some of the features with it real quick, alright? See the, the eye and the Republic of Gamers look and stuff. So we're going to open it like this. And it just kind of, voila, opens up like that. And then we will pull it out somehow. There we go. Alright, so this is the side of it. No, that's the front side, yeah. So it kind of has like this odd shape to it. Um, but there's three microphones, boink, boink built into it and of course all of this stuff lights up and it has RGB on it RGB uh, looks like we got oh some kind of uh, protective stuff that's like all over it feels like tape almost let's peel that off Oh yeah, I love peeling new stuff. Get this stuff off. Take a look at it. Looks like the headphone volume, mute button, that's probably the RGB. That's the plug for the PC, headphones. You can put another, uh, like you can hook your stereo to it. That's cool. There's your volume for your mic. Those are your three different settings. And it comes with a USB hub, so you could plug like your keyboard or mouse or something into it. And it has a uh, a fitting in the bottom, a thread, so that way you can hang it from a boom arm, which is exactly what we bought. We bought a boom arm to go with it, and it's going to be all lit up and stuff. Plus, check this thing out. I mean, it comes in this. Oh, let me move that out of the way. It comes in this really nice, like case you know it's like thick density foam and it has the uh, the logo on the top which is really cool uh, that's uh, an adapter so you can adapt it to bigger bigger thread um, which is something we would need for our boom arm uh, this is a nice braided cable now this cable is very unique because for one it's a uh, it's a USB 3 Point one Gen 2 or whatever it is and it has this uh, funky little ordeal to it plus it's branded it says right there rogue can y'all see that or it says rogue there it is rogue yeah it's pretty cool and then here's the other side it also whoops it also says rogue Let me let the uh, camera focus in on it there we go uh, I bought a, um, a newer GoPro, and then I bought a new camera, uh, but I can't get it to shoot in 4K. I need a special SD for it, so I can only shoot in this quality, which is 2K and 1080p. Man, look how thick that cable is. Holy Jesus, that is a super thick braided cable. Wow. Here, let me get another cable. Uh, another braided cable and I'll show you how thick this sucker is okay so this is an HDMI braided cable this actually came with my Corsair uh, gaming mouse yeah I think it came with my Corsair gaming mouse um, or no maybe it came with my Red Dragon I know what it came with a very expensive uh, it was like a sixty or seventy dollar piece that I bought and this was the cable that came with it but you can see how it's black braided, right? Well, look at the cable on this thing. See the difference? Look at that. Look how much thicker that cable is compared to that one. I mean, just look at the size difference. It's it's ridiculously thick. I'm I'm just so I'm blown away by how th by how thick that cable is. I mean, you can just see it compared to the two see the differences oh my god dude this thing is like thick and heavy this is like weak and flabby which is actually this right here is actually what I expected 
for it to come with, but no, it came with this monster. Alright, well let's plug it in and see how it works. So we got this, and it looks like it plugs in this way. Like that. There we go. Alright, where's the light at? No, not getting nothing, huh? Let's see here. Does this thing have an on off switch? Oh, you know what? I think I plugged it into the wrong one. It probably goes into this one. Let's see here. Looks like it goes that way. There we go. So, this light came on down here. That's interesting. Almost looks like a laser light for a mouse. Oh, check that out. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's how you control the light to it. See that? It's like a greenish color there. Now it's going to like a blue, a purple, yellow, green. Oh, look, the light at the bottom is changing with it. See that? Oh, that is too cool. Does it say something? Oh, I'll be damned. It's the Strix logo. Oh, that is too cool. It's very light, though. I mean, you can I can barely see it on my hand. But yeah, it's the Strix logo. That is too cool. Man, this is awesome looking. I was going to do some B-roll with it, but I'm just, I'm too busy staring at it. Here, let's dim that light real quick. Y'all get a better look at it. So yeah, the Strick Magnus. Um, this microphone is about 120 bucks, 130 bucks. You can probably find it uh, renewed for about $100 on Amazon. Um, there's plenty of videos out there of people talking in them and stuff and showing you the different dynamics of it. But come on now, y'all y'all wouldn't expect that out of me. Y'all already know that I don't really get that detailed into stuff. I just kind of show it to you. I tell you a few things about it, and you know you kind of get your own opinion on it. From what I understand, though, this is a very good mic. Um, a lot of uh, streamers, like professional streamers and stuff like that, idiot ninja with his dumb blue hair, uh, he was using one of these, and one of the other guys. Uh, but it's pretty, ain't it? I like the uh, the Strix symbol right there glowing at the top. I think that is awesome. This thing's going to look cool when it's hanging upside down like that over the boom arm. Very cool. I hope you guys like it. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like if you like this mic. Um, I'm excited about it. I can't wait to use it. When I do do a video of it, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Or maybe I'll just add a sound bite like this. got this and it looks like it plugs in this way like that there we go all right where's the light at no not getting nothing huh let's see here does this thing have an on off switch oh you know what i think i plugged it in the wrong one it probably goes into this one see here looks like it goes that way there we go so this light came on down here that's interesting almost looks like a laser light for a mouse oh check that out oh man oh yeah that's how you control the light to it see that It's like a greenish color there. Now it's going to like a blue, a purple, yellow, green. Oh, look, the light at the bottom is changing with it. See that? Oh, that is too cool. Does it say something? Oh, I'll be damned. It's the Strix logo. Oh, that is too cool. It's very light, though. I mean, you can I can barely see it on my hand.
But yeah, it's the Strix logo. That is too cool. Man, this is awesome looking. I was going to do some B-roll with it, but I'm just, I'm too busy staring at it. Here, let's dim that light real quick. Y'all get a better look at it. So yeah, the Strick Magnus. Um, this microphone is about 120 bucks, 130 bucks. You can probably find it uh, renewed for about $100 on Amazon. Um, there's plenty of videos out there of people talking in them and stuff and showing you the different dynamics of it. But come on now, y'all wouldn't expect that out of me. You already know that I don't really get that detailed into stuff. I just kind of show it to you. I tell you a few things about it. And, you know, you kind of get your own opinion on it. From what I understand, though, this is a very good mic. Um, a lot of uh, streamers, like professional streamers and stuff like that, Idiot Ninja, with his dumb blue hair, uh, he was using one of these and one of the other guys. Uh, but it's pretty, ain't it? I like the, uh, the Strix symbol right there glowing at the top. I think that is awesome. This thing's going to look cool when it's hanging upside down like that over the boom arm very cool i hope you guys like it please subscribe to my channel leave me a like if you like this mic um i'm excited about it i can't wait to use it when i do do a video of it i'll let you guys know how it goes or maybe i'll just add a sound bite like this okay so this is me using the microphone um i'm actually about I don't know, I'd say about 8 to 10 inches away from it. It's actually sitting on the desk. And I'm just talking normally into the first setting of it, which I believe is called the, uh, oh, where's the book at? Here it is. Let's see here. The first setting's called One Person, which is what we're talking in now. This is a Carteroy mode. It records, it records sound sources that are directly in front of the microphone. Alright, and now I'm going to go to the next setting. Okay, so this is stereo mode. Stereo mode uses the center, left, and right microphones to record the sound source for a wider recording range so that you or the audience can hear the stereo effect so this is the stereo effect hello 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 so what that should have sounded like was you should have heard me directly in front of you now you should have heard me off to the side and then now you should have heard me off to the other side and then the last but not least mode is ENC mode. Alright, so ENC mode eliminates all the background noises such as mouse clicks, which I'm clicking my keyboard. Can you hear it? And keyboard strokes. The computer fan noises and records the desired sound quality. So there you have it, guys. There's just a quick show of of the microphone I went ahead and put it back into first person I hope this comes out clean and nice this is one of the most expensive microphones I've ever bought um, short of my other one that was like a hundred and ten